Professionals from engineering and science are essential to the continued success of the minerals and energy industry. Naturally, high academic standards are required to compete for the highly rewarding and stimulating professional careers. Uh, my occupation is graduate mining engineer and what that involves at the moment is I'm doing my underground time. So I'm doing various tasks underground. At the moment I'm doing service crew which involves working with pipes and delivering services to the underground workings. In order to be a mining engineer you need to do a, a four year engineering degree and specialise in mining engineering. In year 12 I was fortunate enough to come to Kalgoorlie a couple of times, I visited a few mine sites and I realised that yeah, that's definitely what I want to do. Offers really good job prospects, pretty much anyone that goes through uni at, at school mines does get a job. Yeah and I like living in regional areas as well so it's just, just a bonus. As far as being a mining engineer is concerned it's a very interesting and challenging career. I think it's a great industry for young to work in. Engineers are in high demand in almost every aspect of the minerals and energy industry. Specific fields of expertise include chemical, electrical, environmental, geological, materials, mechanical, minerals process, mining and petroleum. The refinery it is a very uh, dynamic place to work in and because it's such a big place and the process is so varied you have pretty much all the electrical toys you can play with there. I really like everything about my job. I'm an exploration geologist. I have a project area that I look after and exploration geologists look for all resources within an area. Geologists have the opportunity to get out into unexplored territory and be the first to discover the next major mineral or energy resource. If you're probably someone who likes working with teams of people, who likes being in the outdoor environment, who probably likes to problem solve, Someone who can get around in the environment, uh, navigate, enjoys finding their way through creeks and streams, looking at rocks, looking at the environment, then geology would be a really good field of study. So I was very fortunate to clinch a uh, three month stint working for a, a company walking through the hills of Burma doing ridge and spur sampling and walking through the forests, sieving samples and in the stream sediments. It was a wonderful experience. Apart from exploration, they're also involved in studying rock core samples and cuttings. It's actually very exciting and there's going to be big opportunities in the future as science keeps providing geologists with uh, heightened tools. Metallurgists are responsible for getting the minerals from the ore. They work at mineral processing sites and use a variety of chemical, electrical, magnetic or gravity processes to extract the minerals. The training I did, I did four years of a minerals engineering degree to uh, become a plant metallurgist. I was offered uh, geology and chemistry at high school uh, and I was good at those two. And metallurgy was a mix between those two subjects. If you study in subjects that are specific for the mining industry, it really does set you up better for your career down the track. Mine surveyors provide crucial measurements that determine where new underground and open cup mines will be developed, the connections between subterranean passages and the perimeters of mining claims. When I graduate at the end of this year I'll hope to get, travel overseas and spend maybe five years working internationally before coming back to Australia to settle. The mineral and energy industry is committed to environmentally sustainable operations. All of us in the environmental department are responsible for ensuring that um, the operations out on site are abiding by our, our environmental um, protocols, our environmental procedures and that type of thing on a day-to-day -day basis. It's really critical for the mining industry to, to operate at the best environmental level that they can. Environmental scientists use their knowledge of a wide range of scientific disciplines to manage the environment, such as rehabilitating mine sites and investigating environmental incidents to prevent them reoccurring. It's basically very broad. There's lots and lots of really exciting different aspects of the environment. If you're not interested in trees, you don't have to, to do work on rehabilitation. You can, um, you can work on noise or you can do research. I really do believe these days that you do need an environmental degree or some sort of science degree to get you in, you know, say, to an environmental role in the industry. There's a lot of competition out there. All your studies that you do around the environment, um, you can actually see them applied in reality and you can see sites or areas of environmental impact that you can actually have a really big influence on actually trying to repair or improve. 